this point, we've pretty much taken project resolution down to bare bones. So we've pulled off the front end and starting to repair some of the accident damage. We've gutted the interior, we've sanded down the paint and got everything pretty much ready to start restoring it back to its uh, original condition, hopefully. We're building this basically in our spare time, after hours with our marketing department. We wanted to make this a realistic project, one that our customers can re really relate to. We're educating people internally, but also educating our customers as well with the project. Uh, throughout the process of tearing the vehicle down for restoration, it's been uh, a lot of Eastwood hand tools that we've been using along the way, as well as a lot of our pneumatic tools, just to get the old rusty fasteners loose. And uh, we've also been using the spot weld drill bits, because we're starting to take the uh, front radiator support off, so we've been using those like crazy just to blast through the hundreds of spot welds that are holding that front end together. From here, we've pretty much found all of the rust repair and accident damage that we need to tackle and take care of. Uh, we're going to need to take care of some rust that's in the floors and also in the hatch and in the back end there, there's a little bit that we need to cut out a couple little areas, weld new ones in and blend them in. The roof also, once we remove the paint, we found that it takes a little more work to get that back in shape. There were some bad previous repairs done. It's a common term, it's called oil canning. The, the roof actually, when you push down on it, it just flops around and doesn't really keep the shape it's supposed to. So we're gonna have to do some metal shrinking to fix that. And lastly, we need to take care of that accident damage. So we've already removed the front radiator support. We need to remove the inner fender skirt um, and take care of all those areas. So we're gonna have to drill out some more spot welds and then get everything mocked back in place and make sure that it all fits correctly. Then we can weld it all up and start moving forward with uh, painting. So we've taken out the old interior, we've stripped the old paint, we've removed the front end and gotten the accident damage parts off the vehicle. So now we're pretty much ready to start moving back uphill and get it looking cruise night ready.